How to add audio visualizers online. Hello everyone, my name is Tim and in this video I'll show you how you can quickly and easily add audio visualizers online to any of your projects and edit them to your liking. Let's get started. In this example, we hop over to v.io. You can create an account for free or click on the first link in the description to go straight to the website. Once you're on the homepage, click on upload your video, then click on upload a file, choose either a separate audio file or a video clip with sound. For now, we'll choose this video clip, then click on open. And now your video is imported. To add audio visualizers, simply hop over to elements on the left hand side and scroll down to add sound wave and choose your preferred audio visualizer. Now your audio visualizer automatically picks up and visualizes the audio from your video. Simply change the style of the audio visualizer by selecting the sound wave layer in the timeline or the visualizer itself in the video and edit the style, colors, opacity, decibel control and duration, which is the time length. Simply relocate the play at on the bottom timeline and click on the timers to let it either start or end at that specific timestamp. Alternatively, you can also click and drag the size of the audio visualizer in the timeline to change the duration. I would like to keep the audio visualizer for the entirety of the video, so I will just leave it as it is. You can easily change the visual size, length, position and rotation angle of the audio visualizer by clicking and dragging the corners, sides, middle and rotation option on the top, like so. If you like, you can even add some more audio visualizers on top of this one. Simply repeat the steps by going to elements again, to then find add sound wave, and add and edit your audio visualizer to your liking. In this case, I'm just satisfied with one, so I'm going to delete the other one. Simply click on the audio visualizer you'd like to delete, and click on delete sound wave on the bottom of the edit menu. As a final consideration, if you want to use this video for your social media, so let's say Instagram, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily change the dimensions of your video so you can use it on all of your social media. To make this happen, click on settings and under size you will find multiple dimensions. In this case we'll choose square for Instagram. To make the video fit, click on the video itself and click on fill the canvas in the menu. Once you're satisfied and you want to download your video, simply click on export on the right top corner and then click on export video. After your video is rendered, click on download mp4 to download it straight to your computer. And that's how you add online visualizers to your projects online. And that's it for this video. Please give it a like if it helped you out and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. If you have any questions or a nice thing to say, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section so we can get back to you. For now, thank you so much for watching. Good luck and see you later.